Alright folks, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Claudio Teixeira, this is Gabriel da Silva. How are you doing? We are here from Flight Simulator. We are going to do a flight from Havana to Cancun, Mexico. So, Gabriel is going to be the captain, the pilot flying, Pia, and I'll be the pilot moderating. Very good. Right, Gabriel? Yes. So, I'm we'll going to do the introduction for us. Is the flight today will be an American Airlines, if you guys can see a little bit on the outside. Beautiful library from American Airlines, 777-200LR. Uh, Our flight number will be uh, American Airlines 56656. And our uh, airport right now is MUHA, and we are going to MMUN. Okay, our alternative will be MZBZ. We're going to fly at uh, 36,000 feet, flight level 360. Check. Okay, and if you guys can see here the map, all right, so that's Havana all the way to Cancun. It's a short flight, but we want to show you guys. Anyways, so Captain, look into our flight plan. We we'll have today, uh, we have full capacity of passengers. Amen to that. The airline needs to make some money. <laughs> we enough. will have a, a total fuel of 28 tons of fuel only, being nine tons of a reserve. So okay. uh, meaning we're gonna use just about 17 tons of fuel. We still have a little bit more than that, all right? We will have a, uh, as I mentioned to you, Mike Uniform Hotel Alpha, that's uh, airport right now in Havana, and our destination will be Mike Mike Uniform November. We have now 28.3 tons of fuel, 10.6 10.6 in each wing, and 7.1 in the center tank. That's good. So at this moment, balance now. at this moment, we have the APU running already. That means the APU is right on the tail of the plane and the APU is providing us power. So at this point, uh, we're gonna change for the door. Uh, clients, uh, our passengers are still coming in. So the doors are still open. If Andrew, you can change for the overhead panel, camera. We can see the doors open. And of course, in a simulator, we don't actually have any passengers here. We're just in a simulator here, at two flight simulators in Mississauga. But we definitely have a way of doing that. Just tendons to pass the gate departure. Doors to automatic and cross check. All right, we're gonna start our work here. We're gonna have the beacon, nav, logo, and wing lights on. We're gonna put the seatbelt signs on. We're gonna lock the door behind us. Okay, it's into auto. And we're gonna prepare the fuel pumps on, on all the tanks. And the hydraulics as well. Gabriel set that up. Of course, we already have done the test on the fire, which is good, and we check our oxygen as well. So now the doors, we're waiting for one more door to be locked. I'm gonna change the view to the inside view. Now the doors are all closed and locked. We are able to talk to the ground crew for requesting a pushback. Good evening, this is Flight Simulator 777 Heavy. Round go ahead. Requesting pushback, please. Set parking brake. Set parking brake, Mike Gabriel. Okay. Parking brake is set. And just rephrase that. So while well, Claudia is doing all, all the... Uh, okay. Steering pin inserted. Go ahead and release the brakes. Brake brakes are released. And sorry to correct you guys. Back. This is actually American Airlines flight 656. And one more reminder, this is just a flight simulator, okay? And we are not a real pilot. All right, we don't have control of the plane. They're pushing us back. As we are doing so, everything is ready for the start of the engine procedures, which we are waiting for them to clear to start the engine. Yes, my captain, talk to me. So, which, uh, which side do you think we're going to be pushed? Uh, left, uh, tail left or tail right? Well, we're going to make a uh, left turn. Okay, so we're going to make a tail left? Tail left. So, you sure? Uh, <laughs> let's let's wait please. because it all, the, the reason I ask that is because it all depends which way we're turning. Yeah, I was right. Okay, yeah. so we're going to start the right engine first. Yes, 
Uh, engine start, thank you. So we're going to start well, engine number two. There. Okay, yeah. you tell me. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, start engine number two. All right. And we'll so come here down to the engine panel here. And we're just waiting for um, the outside the, the N1. N1. But the uh, N2 starts starts up first, and then the N1. Okay. And then we're looking for oil pressure. Two. Now, this is in, in detail, but this airplane actually Eight. will do everything automatically. Fuel flow control is on. on. 20 seconds later, uh, the fuel flow goes, uh, fuel goes in. Is that parking brake? Parking, parking. parking brake set. And we have the... Uh, okay, until the system is moved, please wait for my hand signal on your left-hand side. See you later, guys. See you later. Bye. Bye. Ciao. Arrivederci. Adios. So we'll just wait a little bit, uh, just for a second here, so they can go by. And um, we'll start up the, the left one. All right, 777, guys, to remind you, was the first plane built that you can actually start the two engines together. That's how powerful Same. they view you. All right, so I'll start up the uh, engine number one. Engine number one, and we're looking for N N2. That's the turbines inside. Okay. The engine, and then the big fan in outside is uh, N1. Uh, starting, and then we come back down here and uh, look for the oil pressure. Around five, six, we can put on the fuel. 20 seconds later, we'll get the uh, fuel automatically in inside the chamber. After that, we'll see the exhaust uh, Here we go. temperature rising, and we don't have any... We just have to watch for make sure the exhaust gas temperature not to go over the yeah. red line. That's and, all. And it will show if, if there's any, any issues. Perfect. All right, so we got the engines going. We're just waiting for one more detail up at the top. And once it lets go, Ready to go. Engine number two is stabilized already. We're now going to change for the flight controls. And as you're the pilot flying, you're going to check the controls. Okay, so first of all, we, I usually go with the aileron. Full right. Full Good. right. Full left. Excellent. And then the uh, elevators pull forward. Good. Come bring it back. Back. Okay. And back then to neutral. And then the rudder. And then the rudder. Right rudder. And left rudder. Perfect. Excellent, there Captain. There we go. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, Claude, you're gonna you're gonna let me know what uh, what taxis uh, we're gonna taxi. Yes, sir. Have the yes, sir. There. We Perfect. are going to uh, the runway right over there. So we're gonna follow this yellow line here at the moment. And tax lights is on. Yep. That's all we needed uh, before we go any further. Okay, pause. There. Pause. Yeah, I do that sometimes. Yep. Uh, probably not, because it's European. No, it's uh, Central America. Oh, well, even Central America. That doesn't... It won't give it. It oh won't yeah. give it to you. Perci uh, uh, procedures. Procedures. Yeah, well, that's where that's where you had that. You can yeah. zoom up. Okay, that's yeah. well, that's all right. I mean, we're gonna go runway twenty four. This was only for right North, North America, because we're not paying for the whole package. Yeah, that's why. yeah. All right. So, all right, so you we'll can continue. see the camera here. Can you? No. Uh, no. Uh, no. No. That's fine. Uh, that's this camera is good for. But it's not working. Anyways, continue on. All right. So you're gonna. Let okay. Me know. Clear on the right. Say it. Uh, clear on the left. You got it. All right, you have control, Captain. We're going to go this way here. And actually, the runway 24 is right over there. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, may I ask that you direct your attention to the forward part of each cabin, to the TV monitors, for a brief and important message about the safety features and procedures for this aircraft. Please ensure your seat belts are securely fastened, your seats are in the upright position, and the tray tables in front of you secured ready for takeoff. Alright, so we, uh, we're taxiing um, the speeds that we uh, uh, taxi are. No extend uh, 30 knots. 30 knots. And on the corners we usually do uh, below 15. Perfect. Correct? Yes, sir.
All right, we go to the end of the taxiway, we make a left turn and go all the way to the end of runway 24. And that's pretty much the only taxiway they have. We are in Havana, Cuba. Buha. Buha. That's perfect. Great. Hey, Noah, how you clear, doing? Clear on the left here. Clear on the right. Captain. So strobe lights on, tax lights off, runway is on, landing lights on. And immediate uh, takeoff, correct? Yes, sir. All right. Captain, One you have control? Two. I have control. Four. Okay, thrust wrap is on. Feels so different. Flying is alive. Flying from this uh, this side. <laughs> yeah. Well, with the captain. Eighty knots. Eighty knots. Check. Cross check. Hold. All right. We are now committed to fly. All right, captain. Here we go. Positive rate. Gear up. Gear up. Oh, flaps, uh, flaps one. We're going to increase the Yeah, we're going to do that before that. Yeah. We're going to keep it that way. Uh, you fly 777, I mean, uh, American Airlines 657. <laughs> so you used to say that. Look at the sun. Uh, flaps up. Oh, flaps one. Flaps, flaps one. Perfect. We can increase it to uh, to ten. Okay. To uh, two. No, higher, two. Tower, uh, tower has clear uh, clear up to increase the speed to two point zero. And flaps up. Flaps up. Thank you. Okay. We have. L nav, B nav on. All right, I think we can put autopilot now. Now we're good. Got it. Now, Andrew, I have a question to you that I just learned the other day. Okay, landing lights off. And after takeoff checklist, my captain. Gear up. Flaps. Anti ice. Anti ice on auto. Lights. Lights are off. And APU off. And APU is off. After takeoff checklist is complete, my captain. Thank you. All right, so we already have it on autopilot. Um, we usually do that. Um, depends on the company, uh, the airline. But uh, usually at four, 400 feet, five, up to 1,000 feet, uh, we we'll put on autopilot and then let it go. If there's any problems, we take over. If not, we'll continue. All right. We're just waiting now for um, 10,000 feet above. We can accelerate. Other than that, below 10,000 feet, uh, it's below uh, 250, 250 knots. We are climbing pretty good, eh? Yep. 4,800 feet per minute. We have now increased our speed. Yep. We are climbing to 29,000 feet. We Over just approached, uh, we just passed 11,000. Now we climb pretty, um, pretty rapid because we don't have that much. We're full, but we don't have that much uh, full car car fuel. cargo, right? Yeah. And fuel. Fuel is pretty low, so it, it, it climbs pretty good. It really and this is basically good. a short flight. Uh, it's too bad our camera here on the right is not working today. Uh, we're just flying from Cuba to Cancun, uh, Mexico. We're just flying a little bit over the Gulf of Mexico. Right now we're still over the 
tip of uh, Cuba. Adios, muchachos. <laughs> adios, adios. And muchachos, too. Why not? All right, guys. We are now starting our descent. Well, uh, my captain, which is my pilot, went to the washroom. And usually on a real flight, another pilot would sit here to uh, stay on the seat. So, uh, but we're good. He's coming over anytime, I suppose. Meanwhile, I'm just gonna set this up. Welcome back, my captain. We are going to start to the stand. We use the flight level change. We are now descending to the next waypoint with 2,000 feet. And captain, we should go through the briefing uh, for, the, for the arrival. Okay. So our, um, our descent uh, to 2000, uh, 2000 above at uh, CI12L. Um, at that point, we uh, will uh, pick up, uh, we'll do a left turn, pick up the uh, ILS on our final uh, runway 12 left. All right, and then uh, if, if we have to go around, we will uh, continue up to 3000 feet above and it'll be a waypoint called a D143M in Michael. Alright and we'll hold there until further instruction. Okay. So we have a caution light here. I'm gonna just double check what's the message. No message. I can just uh, cancel the recall. Perfect. And send it. I'll just uh, go over the. So let's go for the, the descent checklist. I was going to do a memory thing first, but it's yeah, okay. You, it's you, got, you it's got it there. It's better. Okay. okay. Descent checklist. Sit down sign. They are on. Okay. Altimeter. Alt set. Set. Will be 2992. 2992. Nine, 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 reference so speed. Uh, speed. Ref speed. Yep. We got that going on now. 30 flaps. 30 flaps, and, and that will be 130 plus 5. five. Set. Recalls? Set. Any recalls? No recalls. No recalls. Arrival briefing, we just talked about it. And minimums. Uh, what do you want to set up minimums? We're going to set minimums at 410 on radio. Okay, the send uh, checklist is complete. All right, my captain, we are now getting to 5,600 feet. Uh, we are going to slow down to 250 knots. And we are now 19 nautical miles from our first waypoint, uniform uh, November 709. And we are just about 10 minutes for a landing, so we're going to tell... Cabin crew, 10 minutes to land. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we ask that you store any electronic devices until we are safely parked at the gate, as use of such devices could interfere with the electronic landing equipment on board the aircraft. In final preparation for landing, please ensure your seat belts are securely fastened, your seat backs are in the upright position, and your tray tables are stowed. Any hand luggage should be underneath the seat in front of you, or placed in the overhead locker. Auto. The flight attendants will be passing through the cabin one last time to complete their final compliance check and to collect any remaining cups or glasses. We're going to go to our VREP speed, which is 130 plus 5, 135, flaps 25, landing lights are on, runway lights are on, Check. and we're just waiting for fla uh, last flaps, which is flaps 30, flaps 30, and that will make our before landing checklist complete. And I think we have the ILS out of, out of uh, commission here. Yes. Out of that 
Oh, I'm glad that you're a pilot, so you can make the landing. Otherwise, we'll be, uh-oh. <laughs> so, let's see, Gabriel, no pressure on you, my captain. No, not so at all. So, guys, the runway is right over there. My captain is flying the plane smoothly, just like nobody else. There you go, my captain. You know, you're in Mexico, right? Isn't everything, my Mexican, isn't everything my upside, I, upside down here? No, no. I don't know. That's somewhere else, right? I don't know. Somewhere else. Maybe China or something? <laughs> All right, my captain, you're doing great. That's perfect. One thousand. One thousand. Check. Okay. Cancun. Can't wait to go to the beach tomorrow. Approaching. One, two. Runway twelve. Approaching minimum 500. Minimums 400. Okay, minimum runway inside. Landing. Yeah. 300. Yeah. 200. One hundred, fifty, forty, thirty, twenty, ten. Manual braking. Bienvenido al Cancun. Welcome to Cancun, my captain. I'm going to turn some of the lights off. Good. Okay, our first exit is on the left-hand side. Now, uh, these ones, th I think this is a, like a 90 degree or even worse, so we've got to go to the next one. See this one here? I remember that. That's the next one. Yeah, yeah, this is the one. That's the one, okay? Yeah. Huh? We're going to the next one. Next one. <laughs> we had this little issue. There we go. This is a better one. A little tight turn on the other one. Oh, they are supposed to be from the other side of the runway. Yeah. Right. That's the 30 degrees. A high, it's called a high speed exit back to it. We're off the runway, strobe lights as well, stack the lights on. Okay, and flaps up. Auto brakes to off position, and spoilers are down. I will take it right to the terminal. And we're going to start the APU. Wait until the APU starts. Coming in.
Captain, whatever the owner, engine number one, engine number two. Then we go to the auto throttle disconnect. Pico nav logo lights on. On these, no, these stay yeah. on. Okay. Anti ice, you can leave it out or I'll just turn it off. Leave it auto. Fuel pumps off. One, two. Two more. I think I'm shrieking. I can't reach the button no more. Oh boy. That one stays on. That one off. Alright. Off. Sit belt signs up. We're now going to open the door behind us, Captain. Good. Before I can break it off. Very good plan with you, my captain gave Robert good. Silva. That was nice. Guys, thank you very much once again uh, for this flight. You guys noticed we had some uh, issues in our computer today. We are also a human being, and our system also has failed. So at the ending, uh, on landing, you saw the computer stuttering. We have an issue here. We haven't figured it out yet. We had a technician here, an expert. Uh, he gave all his shots he has today. He's going to do some more research to find the problem, we, we have four people trying to find this, it's something on the system, maybe on the computer itself, that's really started. Sorry about that guys, but we still did the flight. I'd like to thank everybody for watching this video. Uh, Gabriel Da Silva to be here. Uh, Andrew, from, Andrew from, Andrew from, forget it, uh, Falconer's YouTube video. And Noah for being his friend, to be here as well. Myself, Flavio Teixeira, guys, thank you very much for coming. And you have a good evening. And adios. Bye. Adios.